Thanks for joining us. First on 6 at 5, firefighters call it a textbook escape for a Tulsa woman whose house went up in flames today. Firefighters say two key things helped her get out safely with only minor injuries. News on 6 reporter Lacey Lowry has our top story. Lacey? The fire started around 5 o'clock this morning at Glenda Brown's home near 51st and Mingo. While the house is probably a total loss, a working smoke alarm and quick thinking saved the 58-year-old's life. An alarm was Glenda Brown's wake-up call Thursday morning as usual, only this time it was her smoke alarm. For her neighbors, sirens shattered the silence. I heard all these sirens. I'm thinking, man, does that sound close? Very close. Dana Kuska is staying across the street from Brown in the 5,000 block of South 94th East Avenue. The scary part, I guess, is there were flames shooting out at the back of the house, and then it was just huge smoke you know, tumbling out. Glenda Brown had heard her smoke alarm and tried to get out of her house. She headed for the front door, but the smoke was too thick. So she went back to her bedroom and climbed out this window to safety. She had a working smoke detector. Uh, without that, uh, we would have had a lot different outcome. Brown also had that second escape route planned, which proved to be life-saving. You know, like on the airplanes, they say, make sure you know where the exits are and how far you are, so if you have to crawl out, you can count the number of seats away from the exit. So, you know, have in mind an escape route. Fire investigators suspect an electrical problem caused the fire. Brown has lived in this house for nearly 40 years. The loss is devastating, but she walked away with her life. Smart lady to, to have that plan in her mind and be able to execute in the emergency. My saying in life is uh, you always have to operate on plan B. Brown suffered smoke inhalation and some cuts from climbing out the window. She is still in the hospital this evening in good condition. The Red Cross says they will help her with shelter, food, and clothing once she's released. Lacey Lowry, News on 6.